When we set up, we're ready to go. I'm stage director James Alexander. I'm thrilled and honoured to have been invited by the Philadelphia Orchestra to collaborate with its new music director Yannick Nezetsagan to celebrate the legacy of one of its founding music directors, Leopold Stokowski. My technical team at Symphony 5.0 and I are going on a voyage. We invite you to join us. We are joining forces with Yannick and this world-class orchestra to pay tribute to a conductor who led a unique and fascinating career. Stokowski was a musician who literally changed the way audiences experienced the masterpieces of classical music. He introduced America to the works of living composers. He used cutting-edge technology to present concerts and left a legacy that has, in my humble opinion, never been equaled. In this series of blogs, I'd like you to join us and watch as I prepare and create my vision for the staging of the four concerts in June. In our last blog, you may have seen me with some of my team in a preliminary creative think tank meeting. I had had an idea about how to literally pass the baton to the new music director. So stay with us in these blogs and see how this and other ideas progress. In this blog, I'd like you to experience a little of the wow factor that I did when I first saw the 3D scale model of the stage and proscenium arch following a site visit to the Academy of Music in Philadelphia. For me, an initial thought was to offer audiences a multi-sensory experience. Stokowski himself believed in what we now call an holistic approach to musical appreciation and understanding. To truly appreciate music, one has to be immersed in it. Yes, there are legendary stories of Stokowski chastising his audience for talking or coughing, but he really embraced ideas like moving the orchestra around depending on the work being played or the hall they were playing in, changing the shape and decor of the acoustic shell used, and sometimes he even used colourful lighting to enhance mood or complement what the colourist composers were doing at the time. Stokowski was an innovator. We believe Yannick is an innovator. And we at Symphony 5.0 are going to use innovative technology. I'm aiming to make each concert a multi-dimensional, immersive experience for you, our audience. I want to transform the space the orchestra plays in. I want to transform the room that you, the audience, are seated in. I'll be using this architecturally renowned auditorium itself as a mask or screen on which to project images to complement the works in each programme. My aim isn't to overpower or upstage the orchestra. Not at all. After all, why would you invite someone to come see your Rolls Royce and then cover it up? The orchestra is the centrepiece of the concert. Stokowski himself once said, a painter paints his pictures on canvas but musicians paint their pictures on silence. We provide the music, you provide the silence. In 2012, I'm lucky. I have more than one canvas. That's great. Can you just act like you're drawing some stuff? Uh, 